Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with a, another video here. Today I'm gonna be making some uh, old school chow chow. I went in my canning room here and I saw only had two jars of this left. And I love this stuff. And my brother, when he comes over, family, some of my friends that eat it, they'll grab a jar when they come over. Also, it's a little secret tip. People that actually write me, send me letters, I'll send them chow chow back or I'll send them jelly. I usually send something back when people actually take time to write me. That's why I'm always uh, promoting my address. Send me letters. I like reading letters and I like to respond back with not only thank you, but I'll send you something back. You know, jelly, jam, or something. Just to acknowledge I appreciate you sitting down and take time to, to write me. But anyway, back to the point at hand here. I won't be making chow chow. I do a lot of things. I put in my chow chow. The main ingredient is coarse cabbage, but I put things with it. I like a lot, a lot, a lot of colorful chow chow. You can see how colorful this is. All these rest ingredients in the recipe. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna slice some up. I'm gonna dice some up. I like the different textures and shapes also in my chow chow. I got green cabbage here, white onion. I got yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. I got all the colors. I got the uh, banana pepper, I got the Anaheim pepper, I got the jalapeno, green tomato, celery seed, mustard seed, and then the cannon salt. But I'm going to chop all this up, and I'm going to be right back, and I'm going to show you the process how I'm going to prep it for cooking. So I'll be right back. I'm going to chop all this up. I'll be right back, and we'll go to the next step. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, I got everything chopped up now. I got my cabbage, my bell peppers, yellow, green, red. I got my jalapenos, my Anaheim peppers right here, my banana peppers, white onions, green tomatoes. But what I'm gonna do now, I usually use my sink for this. I'm gonna put it in the sink and mix them all together where they evenly distributed. And I'm gonna put it in a pot. And I'm gonna add my kosher salt on my, uh, not kosher salt. I got canned and pickling salt. I'm gonna put on that mustard seed and celery. I'm gonna let that set for about, say eight hours, but I usually do about four hours, four or five hours, where I draw all the liquid out of this, all the water, and I put it back in there, and I'm gonna make a brine out of apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, brown and white sugar, and let it cook for about an hour until it get really, really tender, and I put it in my jaws, and it'll come out something like this. So anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to mix this up and put it in the pot, and I'll show you the next process. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back again here. Okay, you see I got them all evenly distributed. I mix it together. I put my uh, put my, my pickling salt in there. See this? That's what I use. I put that in there, some celery seed, and some little uh, mustard seeds in there. Now, I'm going to pour a little water in here. Just not much. I'm not gonna cut this off. I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna cover it up and let it sit for about four or five hours. And more water is gonna drain off of here. It's gonna be a lot of water on here when I come back in about four or five hours. And I'm gonna drain that water off of it. And then I'm gonna make my brine. I'm gonna make a hot brine and pour in here and let it cook. So I'm gonna mix up the brine and pour it in here and let it cook in the brine, the brown sugar, white sugar, apple cider vinegar, and white vinegar. I'm gonna let that cook down for about an hour. But this is the first process here. Just let it sit and let that cabbage and all that the water really, the, the salt do its job to draw all the water out of the vegetables. So I'll be right back. Are we back? Okay, this stuff been sitting in the pot. It's not on, it's just sitting in the pot. Remember how it was, it was sitting up so high. See all that liquid in there? And you know, I poured a little water in there. That's the salt. They took all that, uh, drew all the liquid out of the cabbages and the vegetable. Now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna strain this water off in a colander. Let's see. Got a pot back there. This pot, see how much water and liquid is in this one? So what I'm gonna do, Bring this off. Add 
add that back to that. And I'm gonna do the other pot too. They both gonna fit in here this time. So they got another. All right. This will strain in the sink here. I said, my mama, she used to make this all the time to go. We had a garden growing up, you know, growing up in the country, everybody had a garden. But we had a two acre garden. So we had so much vegetables and stuff. So she would make, of course, cabbage chow chow, and put all kinds of stuff in it. And this is how she did it. Okay, let me bring this back over here. Add this cabbage to it. Of course, y'all can't see what I'm doing. Okay, see that? Fit them both in there. Now what I'm gonna do now, see I got all that cabbage in there. Now what I'm gonna do now, I say cabbage vegetables. I got some brine here. See this brine? Let me move this from the camera where y'all can see what I'm doing here. Okay. I got some brine here. And the brine, all the brine is, is uh as you can see on the recipe, all this is is brown sugar, regular sugar, white vinegar, and apple cider vinegar. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna let this cook maybe an hour, because all these vegetables are gonna tender up in here. And we're gonna let it simmer for about an hour and let them vegetables get good and tender and then we're gonna put it in our jars. While we're waiting on this, I'm gonna get my thing ready for my jars. Get the water heating up and everything ready for my canning jars. So we're gonna cover this up. Let this cook down. And we're gonna get our jars ready. When it come out, we put it in our jars, seal them. And we got chow chow for the next three, four months. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Chow Chow has been cooking for an hour. Look, see how it changed the color and the texture. Nice and tender. That's what you want on the vegetables. Actually, I'm going to turn this off. Now, what I'm going to do now, you see I got my jars sterilizing back there. Make sure your canning jars are completely sterilized. You got to be very careful when you're canning so you don't get nobody sick or worse off, kill somebody. If you don't do it properly, you can. I've been doing, like I say, been doing this for years, and I was taught by my mom, so I pretty much got it down after like 30 years. So anyway, I'm gonna let this cool. I'm not gonna really ain't gonna let it cool. I'm gonna uh, get my jaws out here, put my jaws here. I'm gonna start adding it in the jaws. I'm gonna get set up here, and I'm gonna come back and show you how I'm gonna do this. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my jaw set up, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the process. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back again here. Okay, I got my jaws out. And this is what I'm gonna do here. Got my can and thing here, I'm put it on here. All I'm gonna do, drop that right in there. See that? Pour some liquid on there. You like do the liquid at last, but I'm gonna show y'all how a little bit how I do it. I'm gonna do a couple of them, and then I'm gonna cut the camera off. Not too much in that one. There we go. And I'm gonna cut the camera off, and I'm gonna finish these up, and I'm gonna show you the finished product. But I'll show you here a couple of them how I do them. Just go right in there. Very simple. Put the juice in there. Gotta have the juice. Take that off. Do one more here. And then I'm gonna put the camera off and I'm gonna finish them up because it's kind of boring here. See me sitting here doing this. Put the juice in there. And that's it. So I'm gonna take the camera off and I'm gonna get all these done. And I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna seal them up and I'm gonna show you the final product. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. 
Okay, now I got the juice in here. Now another thing I do, after you got the juice in there, you go around the edges. It's air pockets being here. You wanna make sure all the juice go down to the bottom. You might have to add more juice in there. So I like to go around all my jaws. Make sure you use a plastic or a wooden thing. Don't use, of course, don't use metal. Cause you will break these jaws in a second. I promise you. Been there and done that. You learn by mistakes. Okay, let me get this in here. Get this one here. This recipe makes about three, four, six, about nine to a dozen, depending on how much you do. I usually get about 10 or 12. I got nine this time. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more juice in these. See how the juice went down? You see this in here, make sure this is really loaded. Cause the reason is you don't want to half seal your jaws and then you see it's not enough liquid in there. So I see this one here, these two here need a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to this one, this one, this one here, more to this one, this one. This is valuable stuff, this juice. And I actually save this when I make another batch. I have to make a I'll just add it to my other brine. And it stays in the refrigerator for months. So yeah. Okay. That's that. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put my tops in my water. And let my tops get uh let all my tops get pull them in the water where I had the jaws and let them get sterilized. And when we come back. Put all these in there, let them get sterilized in there. I'm going to clean up here, let them things get hot. I'm going to seal the jaws, and we're going to have some old school chow chow. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. I've gotten the lids on here. I went on and did that. Now, let me seal it with the top here. And these jaws are really, really hot. Make sure you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and really sit. I'm just getting them on right now, and I'm going to go back when I get them all on here and then I'm gonna really seal it, tighten them up more. Like I say, it's very simple. And I got 12 jars of this out of that one recipe, so you know how many you'll get. This will last maybe, a, depending on how, how often my relatives come over, especially my brother, and then my mom, I'll take her three or four. It'll last me about until probably around a couple of months or so. There. Okay. Like I say, I don't have them really, really tight right now. I'm gonna tighten them here in just a second. So I'm gonna get them all on here. One more. And that's it. Now. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to tighten them up really good. I'm going to wipe them off and I'm going to put them in this hot water here, this boiling. I need to boil them for 15 minutes. That's very important of canning. So you see it's a lot of steps. Why a lot of people don't like the can because there's a lot of things involved in it. And you want to make sure the water is over an inch of the jar. Covering the jaw at least one inch. Mine's gonna be more than that. Mine's, I like to really completely submerge the jaws in water. As you can see right here. That's how I like to do mine. I like to completely submerge. So I need to boil 15 minutes, just like that. Wrap it boil. I'm gonna come back, take them out, and we're gonna put these in. And we'll have some old school chow chow. Be ready to put up on my cannon, cannon room. We will be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, with these are out, and then we're gonna put the last ones out here, out of the water. Put them right here. And that is it. Turn the water off. Set them over here, and we're gonna let them cool. 
Another thing they're going to do, you'll see this lid right now. It's got a like a little, like puffed up. Later on, you're going to hear a ping. And the ping, that's, that thing is going to seal. This thing is not going to be puffed up anymore. It's going to be completely flat. So when you see that thing completely flat, you know you got a successful can. Sometimes they'll do it right away. Sometimes I hear them in the middle of the night doing the ping thing. So yeah, that's how you know it's very successful. So I'm gonna wipe all the water off of here. Clean them up really good. And I got 12 jars of old school chow chow. And this, I can't say this is easy. It's an all day thing because you gotta let your cabbage soak, you gotta cut your vegetable, let the cabbage soak and then drain and cook it down and all. It's a good, it's a long process. But I guarantee you, this whole thing cost me about six, seven bucks to make all of this. If you go to the store and try to buy one of these, it's going to cost you sometime in the country markets and some of the country stores, five, six bucks for a jar of chow chow. For six bucks, I made a dozen. So making things homemade is very, very cost effective. So anyway, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please click the red subscribe button. Um, also comment, and I answer all comments. Some might have some questions that I didn't cover in the canning thing. But anyway, until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.